Hi, in this video I have an old Hikvision NVR. The model number is DS7616NI-SE. The problem with the unit is when it is plugged in and the network is connected, it makes a buzzing or an alarm sound. There is the buzzer and it goes doot, 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 doot. And what seems to be the problem is it's got a hard drive failure. It doesn't matter if I even put in a test drive and try it out, put in two drives, one drive, it has the same problem and that is it makes this beeping sound and also if I listen to the hard drive, it's like it's not starting. It just goes zzz, zzz, zzz. And when I log into the unit, it does not show any hard drive is available. Right, so in order to solve this problem, I'm just gonna take a few measurements with a voltmeter. I put the negative lead in there, that is the negative of the unit. And over here is where the switch is, and this is the positive, which is coming from the supply. Now notice that the supply is only saying 10.6 volts. Now, just a reminder that the output of this power supply is supposed to be 12 volts. So by inspecting this, I can see that there is the problem. There isn't enough voltage coming in. And if I disconnect the SATA power cable, there I've disconnected the power cable, and we can see the voltage goes to, yeah, to 11.55 volts, which should be 12 volts. So what's happening is the SATA drive is asking for power, and when I plug it in, the power supply just does not have enough power. There you can see it's going towards 12, but then dropping down even as low as 10 volts. And because of that, the hard drive cannot start up. So we have a problem with the power supply itself. So now, unfortunately on this unit, it's using like a DIN plug. So I'm just gonna cut this off so I can reuse the plug, and then I will replace the power supply. All right, so just make sure that is unplugged so I can cut this plug off. And of course, if your unit did not have this type of adapter, you could just replace with a new power supply and plug straight in. But because mine is using this, I have to change this DC jack to this type of unit. So I'm going to just strip this a bit and expose some of the copper here to wire it. All right, so here I have a replacement power supply, but notice that it has this type of jack, so that would go into something like that, but that means I would have to retrofit or add an additional adapter to this type of jack. That's why I've opened up the protective cover on this side, and I just need to wire these positive to negative, positive to negative. So I'm just gonna put that one side. All right, I'll just put some heat shrink here so that when I solder it, I can cover it with the heat shrink, and there I'm just gonna put one more piece over all of them. Right now, I just twist the uh, positives together and then the negatives. If you're unsure which is the positive and negative, you can use a continuity meter to measure for a short circuit. So that is a short circuit when I hear the beep. And all I need to do is put this on the tip side. So I'm putting just the positive lead on the tip and this should be touching the positive or the white wire there of the other lead. And that's telling me it's a short circuit. The tip there is on this wire here, which will then be the positive on this side. You don't have to solder it, but I prefer to solder connectors. So I'm just soldering this together. I just cut off the excess. And note that when I made it, I offset them. So even if they are pulled taut, they can never touch each other. Right, I've covered the two wires with heat shrink and I just put this last one over both and now I can heat it up. So I've effectively just built a fly lead from this type of connector to the more common DC jack. Now I have a replacement power supply. The original unit was 3 amps, so now I've replaced it also with a 3 amp power supply, or you can even go more. For example, you can use a 5 amp power supply. Right, so now I can plug in, and straight away I can hear the hard drive is now booting. I'm going to take my negative in there, and I can just put my positive over here. And then we can see 12.3 volts, and I can hear the hard drive booting. And even if I connect a second hard drive, you can see the voltage has only dropped a small amount, and I can hear the hard drive has also booted. Right, so I have two hard drives connected to the unit, and now the hard drives are coming online. Thanks for watching, and cheers.